Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Google Chrome update, which includes a few new interesting features and also some AI features that could be very useful for some users. So in this video, we're going to cover everything that is new in the latest Chrome update, and we're going to try to showcase some of the new features. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, you're going to have to go into Google Chrome and then go into these three dots on the right side, then go into settings, then in the left side, scroll down to About Chrome and make sure that Chrome is up to date. You should have the version 121, which is the latest version that should have some of the new features, which are pretty interesting in my opinion. Now, talking about new features, first of all, let's cover the AI features, which unfortunately I couldn't enable on this machine because you need to meet some requirements to have access to those experimental AI features. So you have to be located in the US and be at least 18 years old, be signed into your Google account. And also, you're going to have to turn on experimental mental AI from the left side of the Chrome settings sidebar. Now let's talk about some of the AI features that Chrome introduced in this one. Unfortunately, right now only for the US region, they introduced smart tab grouping, which basically uses AI and groups your tabs. Basically, if you have multiple tabs opened and then click on organize similar tabs and Chrome will start creating groups and will also suggest certain groups where you were open tabs, which I think is pretty interesting and could be really useful for users who are using a lot of tabs and maybe have 50 plus tabs, maybe they want to organize them, well, Google Chrome will allow you to do that after this update. Chrome also has now a theme generator, which will allow you to create a customizable theme, and you're going to be able to introduce a text description, which will include the theme, the style, and so on, and Chrome will create a theme special for you using AI, which I think is pretty interesting. You just have to click on the Create with AI button, and you're going to be able to create that theme. Also, Help Me Write is a new interactive assistant that will assist you in generating text. So basically, you're going to be able to talk with the AI and generate a text. Maybe it is an essay or an email. This will help you. These three features that we've talked about are highly experimental features, so not everyone will have them, especially those from the US region, and even there, it won't be rolling out to everyone. So I think these are pretty interesting features, and I'm hoping that they will be rolled out to more users and more regions in the next few months. There are also changes related to third-party cookies. So Google Chrome is trying to disable third-party cookies for every user right now a very small percentage of users has that enabled. But if you're going to type in Chrome and flags third party cookie, you're going to see this thing test third party cookie phase out and enabling this flag also enables Fed CM and third party storage partitioning. And this will allow you to disable third party cookies, of course, are pretty dangerous at times because as you'll know, cookies is where everything that you do online is saved. So that's how websites know how to recommend you certain ads, certain products and so on. Additionally, in this new update, we also have have some changes regarding the behavior when clicking on links that are associated with a installed PWA or progressive web application. If you search for the flag enable user link capturing PWA, this will allow you to now see a separate application interface or a list of applications that support the content in that link. Some other small changes, for example, the pin icon was removed from the taskbar on the right side. Also some improvements for Android 12 plus. Also 17 vulnerabilities are fixed in this latest update for the Google Chrome browser. If you are located in the US region, you can also test out the Chrome Canary browser and see if you have the new experimental features enabled there. And you're also going to notice this new icon here, which will enable you to enable some experiments, tab groups, save and sync, customize Chrome side panel, Chrome refresh 2023, Chrome web UI refresh 2023, and also tab scrolling. I think this is pretty interesting. This is pretty much the new Chrome update. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. If you want me to cover the new Chrome updates, maybe when there are bigger updates, you can always comment below and let me know what you think. Those things being said, I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.